take my life. Guys, my name's Anna and I am finally, finally starting this channel. It has to be done, it has to be done. Um, it's gonna be basically focused to start with around my acne journey. Um, I see so many, so many YouTube channels out there that are doing sort of the same thing and watching them tell their stories sort of makes me feel like I'm not alone. So if I can pass on any sort of um, advice or just relatability, I guess. Um, let people know that they're not alone because that's how I feel sometimes um, I have spent so much money probably over five thousand um, dollars trying to just work out what's wrong with my skin trying different treatments trying different medicines topical treatments uh, herbal treatments fucking honestly I it's just ridiculous. I've sort of been on and off birth control for the last 12 months. I haven't been on anything. And for three months, my skin was absolutely perfect. I'll insert pictures. I'll do like a timeline sort of thing. Um, I every single time I think I've hit the nail on the head it comes back with a vengeance it seems and whoops jumped the camera um it's it, it seems it's sort of the same area every time but different sort of clusters like this time it's more bigger spots whereas last time it was sort of just along my jawline and then on my cheeks but little bumps, little bumps everywhere. Although between my eyebrows is sort of bumps. I've, I thought it was products that I was using. I haven't worn makeup in probably a good two, three years, unless I absolutely have to. I avoid all sorts of social occasions just because of it. Um, and I... I looked to other YouTubers sort of for advice and to be able to relate to someone. So if this channel can help anyone out there know that you are not alone, you are not the only one struggling with this and if I can find something else that works, I can sort of pass, pass on my knowledge. Um, not that I feel like I have any at the moment because everything that I've done has obviously failed. Um, so yeah, I'm getting tested for PCOS, I'm having all my hormone levels tested, which is cool. Um, and when I get back from Bali on Monday, I'll hopefully get the results. So I will check back in with you then. Well, 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 everybody, the day is finally here day one of doxycycline um, I've been putting this off and off and off and off for probably the last two years now um, and yeah I'll get to it in a later video but today is day one I'm excited to start and see some results um, 
the amount of uh, Dr. Google black holes I've been down is just ridiculous. So let's get this rolling. Good morning. It is well, technically day two, but I'm not taking the tablet until tonight. But um, I just wanted to sort of check in. Um, I had a little bit of head spins last night after taking the tablet, so I just sat down. You're not meant to lie down, so I just sat down um, and wasn't as hungry as I usually am, so that's a bonus. Um, but everything else is normal, and yeah, we'll see how we go. Good morning, it is day three on doxycycline, and I'm... Mm, yeah, it's only day three, so can't expect too much. But I've got a big one down there that looks like it's going to come to a head, and then that's my other cheek. We shall see how we go. Feeling a little bit funny, a little bit fatigued, and sort of yucky stomach, which I think is normal. So, day six, checking in. Not great, but not worse, which is good. Good morning, guys. I think we we skipped a couple of days. I I don't think I know. Um, fuck, my skin has just been. I think it's called the purge, um, and it's happening for real. It doesn't look that bad. Like when I look at it in the mirror, it looks bad, but um, it freaking hurts. It's really, really sore all between my eyebrows, all around my jawline. Um, yeah, but everything that I've read has sort of said that it's going to do this. The doctor didn't say that it was going to do this, but everything I read said that. So that's what I was expecting. Um, I'll try and make sure I check in at least every couple of days to make this progress a little bit more um, insightful for you. Um, yeah. I'm still smiling, so that's good. Half the time I'm smiling. On my way to work, bare-faced, facing the day. Feels like it's going good. They're all sort of flat now, apart from a couple of my cheeks. Um, The ones in, my, in between my forehead are sort of slowly fading away, as they do. Um, but my skin, as they say, happens, is going kind of really thin and I have to be careful in the sun. So I've been wearing hats every day because I work outside and today I'm in the office, so no hat. I'm still persisting, obviously, because they say it takes about 12 weeks. But, and I wasn't expecting a quick fix because nothing is a quick fix. Anything that is a quick fix is a short term fix and that is not what I want. So I'm just going to keep going with it. Um, the only real symptoms I've been having is sort of acid reflux, a little bit of dizziness. Um, my skin did purge for like a week there and I'm using the cream as well. I, so I used it for the first couple of days, the cream different and then stopped using it because it made my skin really dry which was kind of stupid because that's what happens when you start anything new so I've continued using that now um, for the last week so we'll just see how we go so that side's not too bad it's sort of just more around my mouth area now just thought I'd make a wee note too. I realise I've been saying doxycycline, not doxycycline. And I don't know, my doctor said it was doxycycline, but people have been uh, doing videos about it a lot and I think I've been saying it wrong. So, here we go. Confession. Good evening. We are almost
almost up to the four week mark and my skin is still pretty much the same a lot of it is flat like it looks bad but I think a lot of it is scarring um it's going all right my skin feels really dry my lips are dry all the time um but apart from that I'm pretty happy with how we're going and I'll just stick to it my eyebrows need doing definitely but on the plus side, I am currently in the Gold Coast for work. And this is my view. How beautiful is that? And the beach is right there. And coming from Alice Springs, that is a nice sight to see in the mornings. And I go home tomorrow. So, goodbye hotel room. I'm really hoping to, after this whole um, sort of doxycycline series is over, I can start feeling good about myself again and start doing some travel vlogs. Um, I really enjoy vlogging, but haven't wanted to do it because of my skin. So hopefully we can get that rolling, which is exciting. So we are marking today as four weeks on doxycycline and I am sort of happy with the results. My cheeks are nice and flat but I'm still getting new ones around my mouth which sucks. Um, so I think I'm meant to be going back to the doctor for a six week checkup and I think think they if you're still getting new ones they'll put you on a higher dose so I'm gonna see if that's what she recommends it's also just quite red I wish my skin was that but it's that which sucks um, so we'll see how the next four weeks goes so I reckon yeah in the next couple of weeks I'll go back to the doctor see what she says and I will let you guys know.